Hey, how you doing? How you been? Where you been? Here we are. What's up, and <laughs> How you doing, Emily? Emily! <laughs> I know, it's been a while. And as always, you're like right on top of it. <laughs> How you been feeling? That's good to hear. Yes, I am. What up, Stephanie? Hello, Canadian. Hey, look, Canadian. <laughs> Come on over to the YouTubes, Stephanie. Tiffany, how you doing? Thank you. It's about a week old at this time. How you doing tonight, ladies and gentlemen? That goes for you too, Tiffany. 
Don't let anybody get in the way of who you're meant to be. You missed a lot. <laughs> so have I. <sighs> I wasn't live last week, so... Anyone interested on coming up out of my regulars? It's been so long. If you would like to come up, DM me on your cho on your chosen platform. And we'll see if we can hook it up. Okay. Who can text you? you want to do. Here we are once again having fun while we chill in the middle of the night. Hello. Hi.
Because I think it might actually help me not get a copyright claim, I am going to find tonight's playlist. Hey. Hello. <laughs> Hey, look who it is. Hello, peoples. It's been a while. It definitely has. How you doing? I finally got my voice back, so that's good. Good to hear. Yeah. Get it? Good to hear? Uh-huh, you're so funny. I know, right? <laughs> I'm hilarious. You're hilarious. I need to find the playlist that's playing right now so I can share it. If you are liking tonight's music, tonight's music is provided by, <laughs> where is this, oh, not that one, did I do, oh, here it is, oh, yeah. You gotta put those prayers out for Drage's father. Oh, that's right. You told me about that earlier. Yeah, uh, his name is Trent. Like Trent. So he's in still in the hospital, or he's already in rehab. In the in the um in that live stream, he said um, his father's back at the house. Right? They would know. <laughs> Cause I was gonna check his live stream last night, and then I, you know, got distracted. And when I went back, I watched the the replay, and it said update. I'm like, update to what? <laughs> so I I was watching. I was like, oh snap! And it, if I remember correctly, like I said in the in the message, um, well, it was a couple weeks ago, um, JJ got in into a car accident and totaled his um tesla so Ooh. he's been, he's been he him and the people and his dog that were in the car were all fine but his car pretty much got totaled um those cars are expensive yeah um so he's been trying to figure out what to do about a new vehicle and i haven't watched all his hello sarah how you doing um, apparently, um, I lost my train of thought. So, guys, correct me if I'm wrong. Um, I guess his father was going to give him his truck, but he had, uh, Drage would have to go to California to get it and drive it back to Ohio. And I guess what the plan was, he was going to um he he went to california and i guess as soon as he got there he got the call from his father that he was having shortness of breath and then you know jage um contacted his friends back in ohio to go um check on his father and help him and one of the um friends parents or whatever helped him get to the hospital. Um, mm -hmm. And he, he, it turned out that he was having a heart attack. So they did surgery. They put in two stints, um, went home fairly soon after, I guess, maybe the next day or whatever. 
Um, and then what was it yesterday as far as the stream? Then um, his father had the stroke. What up, That's Jesse? Good. How you doing? And uh, according to what Dre said in the live stream from last night was um, his father, um, apparently a piece of the, one of the stints or something either got in the valve or caused a blockage or something. Mm. So, um, but I guess his father was out at the supermarket, was in the car and um, slurring his speech. Oh, and to the point where, you know, and, and to the point that, um, like Dre, what Jerry was saying was his, um, like he, he could tell his father, like he was alert and knew where he was and knew what was going on, but he couldn't get the words out. Yeah. Um. So he told his father to not <laughs> drive, and I guess he had a phone, a direct phone number to one of the police officers, and um in Ohio and called him to say exactly where he was um, and got him the help, to, uh, you know, get the um, ambulance or whatever to him. That's crazy. That means he's going to have to go to a neurologist for his stroke. Yeah. Uh, apparently, I, but apparently he's doing... Okay, I think the last thing he said that his father was um, back at his house already. So, it was, you know, obviously a minor, luckily some kind of a bit of a minor stroke. What's up, Angel? Yeah. How you doing? That's good. Strokes are scary. Uh, but when he was, when Drage got, because of his father having the heart attack, um, his father it was supposed to do some kind of video production or whatever for a Super Bowl thing. Um, through it, I guess his father has a, a product, like I said, a production company or something. Um, and it was, you know, it was a big, um, it was a big job. So he's like, you, you and your mother can handle it. You got to go to Arizona to do to do this thing. Um, I'll just be. You know, I'll stay at your house or whatever. So that that's what ended up. Do you have me, Angel? I was, what was I doing? Oh, we were in the store today. And they were like giving a random commercial about the Super Bowl. You know, it's $7 million to get a commercial for 35 minutes during Super Bowl. Why? <laughs> Who has that kind of money? For only 35 minutes. For 35 minutes. minutes or 35 seconds? I don't know. I think it was seconds. Because commercial, commercial are only about 30 oh, yeah. seconds. Well, it was seconds then. Why am I thinking? But still, $7 million? That's a lot. The attention span of somebody is less than what? 15 seconds? For most especially people? Now. Oh, especially with TikTok. <laughs> exactly. That's just to get a slot. That doesn't include the filming the commercial itself, which is probably another seven thousand. I mean, seven million. Yeah, it depends on the production. Yeah, that would never. Be the thing is, is the thing is, is half the time people. Are, it's the only. A TV event where people care more about the commercial than they do yeah, of the actual yeah. event. The commercial. Unless you're a fan, yeah, unless you're a fan of the teams that are playing in the Super Bowl, um, the halftime show artist, like people, people are like, they, I went, I went to a Super Bowl gathering. Hello, Angel. I went to a Super Bowl a gathering like 20 years ago, right? And during the game, they were busy talking. Commercials came on, they got quiet. <laughs> They're like, I'm like, why is this in reverse? It's usually when the commercial's on, you start yapping. 
That's true. This it, and this was in 2020, no, 2001. So that was. Oh, Patriot doesn't have a Valentine's. Hello, Angel. I don't hear you if you're saying anything. Valentine's Day is fake. She's not muted. Sure. If you want to be asked, you're asking for attention. I don't feed into it. There is a fake Hallmark holiday. Uh, can you hear me now? I think so. Can you hear me now? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why uh, you couldn't hear me because I was talking and wanting to uh, say something to you, April. But every time I tried <laughs> saying, I didn't see my little uh, vocal icon around my avatar here go up as it is doing uh, here. And I like was uh, trying to like ask you if, if uh, you could hear me. And that's why I stepped out last day. But what I want to say when I came the, on the first time was uh, you're a touchdown, April. A touchdown? <laughs> if I'm a touchdown, what's Stephanie? Well, like uh, you, uh, you are like the uh, uh, end zone, the field goal, like the where uh, the players would go to get the points uh, because, you know, you're worth it. Oh, I like that one. <laughs> I like Wait, she's, she's the field goal? <laughs> so she gets kicked? <laughs> <laughs> well, just in like a, like a sporting terms, it would be like if it was baseball season uh, uh, there, um, which I know is about to begin again um, here uh, soon uh, there, because I think next month is uh, spring uh, training uh, there, and the actual season starts in uh, uh, late of March or April, I believe. And it would be like me saying, "You're a home run." Hey, nice, children. <laughs> now I gotta go see what, what 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 the fuss was about. Oh, Sarah. You never asked me why Tuesday is going to be great for me. Because oh. Canadian, I think she's asking you if you want to, if you want to be. Asking you, you are telling you to ask her to be your Valentine. I mean, that's how I read. It. That's how I read it. I don't know about anybody else, but it looks like Sarah's like. If you ask me, maybe I'll say yes. <laughs> I could be wrong, you know. I have played matchmaker in the past, so and I've had at least one success. <laughs> at least you got one under your belt. Yeah, sorry, Stephanie. <laughs> no, it wasn't meant to be. I didn't mean to break your heart. I didn't mean to send people that will break your heart. <laughs> um, Valentine's but, Day is against religious um, <laughs> but uh, other uh, than um, like these uh, last uh, few weeks I haven't really haven't uh, done much uh, there um, <laughs> been having uh, some job interviews but haven't been lucky enough to get a call back from any of them but I'll keep on like uh, applying and all that and at the same time there um, I am like going to be getting a, uh, a new computer here soon as well. Well, thank you, Julianne. <laughs> yeah, I know. 
too far away. I don't know. I don't know where I've been. I I kind of got lost. Everybody gets lost. And I'll be honest. I just honestly just didn't feel like doing anything. I don't think I've been depressed. Maybe I have, and I don't realize it. But I've just had no like. I've had ideas, and I go, "Oh, I should do this, and I should do that," and I start daydreaming. But to actually get up and do anything, I just hadn't. I, I like. I'd rather go down the rabbit holes. Yeah. The rabbit holes are a lot more, a lot easier to deal with, although they can get just as frustrating and and they can cause you to become depressed. <laughs> Some of them, because the rabbit holes bring you to like videos you didn't want, you didn't expect to watch, and not in a good way. You know many it's like. You know how many police, st- police, uh, you know, police being dummies to people. I come come across my my feed, and I'm like, why do I get these videos? Even after I put, no, I'm not interested. Somehow, I still end up. Oh yeah, I noticed that. I'm like, that's annoying. Like I don't, I don't, I get I like many. I get sucked into it. Sarah, be my Valentine, please. She hasn't answered me. How rude! She said it's against her religion. Religion. I'm still asking her. I like to ask everybody. Everyone deserves a Valentine. Well, she says no. You know, Tiffany's always your Valentine. She's your best. That's true. That's number one right there. She said absolutely, Stephanie. Yay. I got myself a Valentine. <laughs> Another one. To have. Ooh. Ooh, I'm telling Canadian, you just make Canadian feel all bad. Won't be his Valentine, <laughs> but you'll be Stephanie's. <laughs> <laughs> Really. I'll be everyone's Valentine who doesn't have a Valentine. How about that? She just wants all the mushiness. Yes, I do. They Look, need it. I've been married for over 10 years and I still can't have a Valentine. Uh, well, uh, it, uh, I'll be quite honest. Um, I, a lot of people say it's like you're a. Uh, um, um, uh, 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 spouse or the your um, um, like a uh, loved one there, but at the end of the day, it's uh, all who you actually love. Like my brother, uh, uh, he's my family, and my sister is family too, so they're both my Valentines. But it doesn't necessarily have to be your uh, uh, partner or spouse or anything like that. Somebody's got the hiccups. Um, it's because I was uh, muted and I didn't want to hear any of you guys uh, hearing me crunch on some tacos I made this late at night. Um, it's because I had some like beef, uh, the ground beef that is um, uh, fine, but it was uh, not the kind of size you would imagine. Oh so my goodness, Tiffany! I think you found your, I think you found your, <laughs> your twin flame. She's anti <laughs> too. Well, maybe I've been mushy, so I think I lost my anti mushiness. Well, look, you now you now you got a partner in crime. Partner yes. in mushiness. So when you're the anti mushy mushy intolerant. Huh. 
<laughs> but yeah, like I said, uh, I was eating some tacos uh, there when I uh, was muted uh, prior to the uh, moment where I was muted just uh, now there. But uh, the hiccups are gone, thankfully. <laughs> I made a little buffet earlier. Um, <laughs> but I'll I mean be quite honest there. When I got the hiccups uh, 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 for the first time or in my early years, I never really knew what could cause them, but it's uh, depend on how fast you eat um, there and also how uh, fast you drink because sometimes even just water can cause you to get the hiccups depending on how fast you guzzle your water down and that kind of stuff. And just like how if you eat your food too fast, is what causes for you to get the hiccups. <laughs> it looks like Stephanie will at least kiss you on the cheek. Um, but, I'll be, but another thing is, uh, anytime I get the hiccups, I think of a episode uh, that I uh, watched uh, when I was still technically a teenager, but uh, watch the uh, over uh, the reruns and all that, and slightly watch it on Disney Plus. Is the episode of My Friends Tigger and Pooh, and there was an episode where uh, the Tigger had uh, got the hiccups, and he was like, mm, uh, "I must have a frog, a frog in my throat." And uh, the Dar Darby is uh, was like, "That's not a frog, Tigger. That's the hiccups." And Rabbit is like. And then you got them because you ate your food too fast. Mm -hmm. mm. I love Pooh Bear. Yeah, I made a. I attempted to make chickpea curry, um, non bread. Oh. Um. Butter now and um, air fryer chicken, homemade chicken nuggets. Oh my god, people actually do that? Kiss me, son. I'm desperate. And there's tons of chicks. Kiss me, I'm desperate, son. <laughs> Hey, good work for you. You never know. Oh my god, this flu is driving me crazy. <laughs> what happened? The stupid flu is driving me insane. I think I'm getting better and then I get worse. And I was just about to get my shot too, and I have to wait two weeks after I'm over this to get it. You gotta get your mother to get you the sour sop puree. Throw it in a smoothie with some pineapple, some watermelon if you like the fruit punch flavor. I mean, remember, I had a cough for, for almost three years. Oh, yeah, that's right. I had, I, was, I had built up, like, dry mucus for, like, three years. And then soon, as, like, within a week of taking, starting, and forget all the herbs that I bought. I didn't even start using those until, like, a couple of weeks later, and I only used one or two of them to start. Mm. Uh, the sour sop alone started clearing out the mucus in, in, in my in my in my lungs in my throat and I, I mean I was hacking like I was hacking up a lung almost literally and every time I you know I throw a chunk of sour sop and I don't care what flavors smoothie I make a chunk of sour shop gets thrown in it now. And when mm. I go shopping, I buy like if I if I spot it, I get like three packages <laughs> of the puree since it's the only form I can really find on a regular ba basis. I also have the 
the I have the, the leaves in a tea in a tea bag form, but oh, but I know I, I can see the ad for that on um, TikTok for that for um, sour soap. Yeah, I keep seeing it. That for that or sea moss. The sour soap. The sour soap. Yeah, I see people buying in like a jar and taking a spoonful every day. No, that's sea moss. Oh, okay. Because you said jar, like the, it, it looks like jelly. Yeah, yeah, that one. Yeah, so that's sea moss. Oh, okay. Irish sea moss, which is good, but it's supposed to be kind of high in iron. And oh, I need uh, iron. <laughs> I need the iron. Um, it supposedly has 92 of the 102 uh, v- vitamins and minerals we need in our system. And it's supposed to be a good, um, a good, a, um, a good, um, heal, you know, along with sea, uh, soursop or guanabana. Um, it's supposed to be another good, um, you know, super super healer or whatever you want to call it. So, super but I think it, I think it might be one of those things that, like, if you were to try, you would have to try it in small doses to make sure it doesn't interact with your medic any of your medications. All right, that's right. Even some of the um, some of the um, herbs that are good because because some of them are supposed to help the heart, but if you're on medication, it could interact. Yeah, like, uh, I have to. I think sarsaparilla might be one of them, but sarsaparilla is supposed to also be a, um, blood a blood purifier. Mm. As well as dandelion root. I know I can't have turmeric. I know that. Because it acts as a bl- um, almost acts as a blood thinner, right? Yeah, and I can't have like spicy stuff because it, it increases my heart heart rate. Um. But I did get some news that I might have POTS. Have what? POTS. POTS? P-O-T-S. Yes. It's a... It has to do something with my... My nervous system. Because you know how when you sit down, all the blood goes to the bottom of your legs. And when you stand up, the brain sends a signal to your body start to start pumping the blood into the, the rest of your body. Yeah. And with that is that that sensor is off and you don't. That's why I was getting dizzy when I stand up for too long or too fast. Yeah. And sometimes my vision is blurry and the headaches and all that. And always being tired. It's because my blood wasn't circulating properly. I mean, I had the blood flow. It just wasn't doing what it's supposed to do. So my wiring is off, basically. Yeah, your nervous system. Yeah. I would still, like, I would still, like, try to investigate on how to cleanse your system. Um, like look up the things that will help to, to like I I there's so much to the herbal life and like the way you should detox your body or the way you should go about things, and they say one of the things they say you should um, cleanse your lymphatic system and then go from there. Um, and if it's your nervous system, sometimes that, that could be, 
these herbs that are supposed to help re-regulate that or get it back on track. Yeah. Well, uh, when I did my blood work, they said that my liver and white blood count was extremely high. That wasn't that wasn't good. So, your liver. Yeah, so they said I had maybe something like burdock root. Yeah, something um, for my cholesterol. I know that I got to keep it down. Because the fir the first couple of herbs I started with, I like again, again sour is or gunabana is not an herb; it's a fruit. But because I can never find the actual fruit, the puree is where I started. Then I got the sea moss um, that you can convert into a gel, which is spring water. And, and they say if you're going to do anything with water, it should be spring water because of the contaminants in, in the tap water and even if you filter it out it still has other you know doesn't get out the chlorine or the fluoride mm. uh, even distilled water like the distilled water, that water the baby what, what i've read about or what i the little i heard about the still water is the reason why it's not the best to, to have or if you have it you gotta cut you kind of have to reintroduce the minerals, the natural minerals that are supposed to be in it. Mm. So, like, if you put a little bit of sea salt, like, you you don't need, I'm not talking about, like, putting a teaspoon or anything, but, like, a little bit of sea salt to get the electrolytes back. Um, I think even lemon, lemon or even a tiny bit of baking soda, um, it's supposed to help to do the same thing to get some of those minerals back into the water. Um, and um, I came across this one lady who, who um, I think I shared the herbal, the her herbal thing with you or my cousin, or I put it in um, our private chat, um, or I gave it to my cousin because. My cousin just just like me, her like her blood sugar, her lip I ironically though I think because of the herbs that I've been using, my my kidneys and my, my um liver are right in the normal range. I forget where on the scale it was, or like on the levels, because I just had my physical. Mm -hmm. And I think one of them was a like on the board. It was in the green, but it was kind of like close to the edge of being low or high. I don't remember the level, the levels or whatever. But I contributed to the herbs that I have been taking. I've been taking two of them that I, there's um, at least three that, okay, when I make my little tea concoction, <laughs> I, I, <laughs> I, I put, I put burdock root, yeah, I put burdock root, um, sarsaparilla, Ground ginger, um, dandelion root, and leaf tea, the sour sop tea that I have. Um, I sometimes throw in a little cinnamon. Um, I mean, I, I'll put all, I'll, I'll put that all into one tea. <laughs> in the in between all of those, I'll tell you what some of those actually do. That's your doggy. Thank you. Oh. Bless you. 
Uh, excuse me and thank you. So apparently this is Emily's gun. Where is it? Right there. Oh, that's adorable. Aww. He's cute. Huh. Um, and hey, uh, Steph and April. Yes, sir. Love you. Love you both. <laughs> Love you too. Okay. Um, I'll be quite That's honest. Not... From time to time, I love to pretend to sneeze, uh, even after I had the, the sneezed afterwards. There, just as a form of like love and respect to those, I even like pretended as though my uh, brother uh, was uh, the stereo Captain Crunch uh, there, because um, uh, he's uh, uh, sweet and uh, delicious there. And I, I think of weird ways, but at the same time, it's not to be like strange or anything. It's just my way of uh, showing people in a different format of uh, that I love them and uh, the, like you and uh, Steph there, April. And yeah. the same thing with my uh, 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 brother uh, there. Uh, I love him because uh, uh, he's family, of course. And you guys are family here on my channel as well, as you guys know. And yeah. so uh, I'll be weird. Um, and, like, remember, like, when you were live uh, almost two weeks ago at the end of uh, January when I was last on here uh, with you, April? I joked about you, uh, 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 Jacob, and Maria and uh, uh, um, uh, uh, uh but um, I keep forgetting her name. Maybe it's just because I don't see her in your chat as much anymore. And at the same time, she's going through stuff of her own um, there. Um, uh, but I uh, had uh, joked about you guys being um, uh, 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 the toppings on pizza because you guys uh, uh, melt my heart. <laughs> or was it cheese on a pizza? I forgot. Something like that. Something like Job that. <clears throat> yeah, Stephanie, he said we were we were the, the topping of a pizza because we melt his heart. <laughs> I'm gonna have to go back and watch that. Yeah. Um, oh. uh, Hold on, where is it? I just lost it. Yeah. <laughs> I know a Canadian. Uh, it's just I keep forgetting uh, her uh, her name. It's just maybe it's because when I don't see people as often and they uh, start to um, disappear and all that, I have a tendency of almost forgetting them uh, there. Um, and it's just uh, I know she's been going through some stuff herself uh, uh, there. Um, because uh, 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 I know she had a former channel and then just like uh, last year she started a different channel of her own uh, there but at the same time there I think she's getting tired of a lot of stuff with uh, YouTube that and that but at the same time she has her own personal life outside of YouTube right so some of the herbs that I've been using um, I've been using yellow dock and red clover which is to be good for the liver. Yellow dock is also good for the kidneys. Uh, <laughs> yellow dock, red clover, um, kidneys, blood pressure. I don't have that one. Bladder rock is supposed to be good for the thyroid. Um, sea moss is supposed to be good for the thyroid energy. Immune system, mucus, cholesterol, blood pressure, inflammation, diabetes. And I think the nervous system was in that, but I think I took it out. Or I moved it, or I did something with it. Um, you took out your nervous system? Oh, my goodness. No, like, because I, I kept making different lists and moving, like, what herb goes with white, what part of the body, and... Because some of them do multiple things. Another one that I've been using, um, to especially when my cough tries to come back or my sinuses kind of get going again, um, it's called mullen. That's supposed to be good for the nervous system, mucus, and inflammation. Um, 
Chappelle is supposed to be good for mucus, over uh, ovarian health, and inflammation, blood pressure. Okay. The herbs. I don't have these herbs. These are supposed to be good for blood pressure. Lily of the Valley, Flora del Mont, my Manatea, Linda flower, Linden flower, supposed to be good for blood pressure. Hormonal. And liver and his red clover. Um, nervous system, chamomile and nettle. So chamomile tea is a good good um, boost to the nervous your nervous system. It's also good when you're on your period too. <laughs> um, mental health, mental health, linen flower, lupulo, mugwort. Valorant root, inflammation, nettle leaf. I what are you, Professor Snape now? You potions master over there? <laughs> <laughs> well, let me go to directly to the other list. Because uh, I did a list of only my herbs. So for my herbs, uh, for the lib. Yellow dock, again, is good for the liver and kidneys. Red dock is good for the liver, kidneys, and hormones. Uh, bladder rack is good for the thyroid. Supposedly, it's also good for um, female health. Um, mm. That I th That's something that I recently found out. Um, sarsaparilla, burdock root. Sarsaparilla is supposed to be very high in iron. It helps to purify the blood, but I think that's one of the ones you might have to be careful about if you yeah. try it. Um, I'm burdock, an injection soon. burdock root is um, an overall good one because I've seen it in multiple concoct um, things. Dandelion root tea, again, mullins. Yeah, and then I get sea moss on here again. So, so, but um, but recently, <laughs> recently, what I what I've done is um, the last three um, herbs that I've tried. Like I said, I've tried mullins, um, which I notice when I do add it into one of my into my um smoothies with the pineapple and the soursop, the guanabana, that like, it really helps to clear the, everything. Mm -hmm. you know, as far as like mucus in your chest and your throat and your, you know, nasal passage. Yeah, like something that, that my, my mom for average fever. And then, um, what was I going to say? Um, the last couple that I tried, or the last ones I tried was nettle leaf. And I'm not sure what it did or didn't do because I kind of threw it in with a bunch of other stuff. <laughs> <laughs> but the one that I have, there's one I have that I'm afraid to try again. Like before I try it again, I need to figure out what I can do to the counter the bad taste. All the other ones were fine. Like I didn't I either didn't notice it or it had a very faint taste to it. Like the yellow dot has a little bit of a slight bitterness, but when you put it with with a couple of other things or whatever, it 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 works and you can work around the taste. You like you don't really and I don't use a lot. I just like dust it in. You know, I, yeah. I put like I put less than a teaspoon, in just to get the you know, the benefits of of, um, of them. But um, there's one called Casa Sagrada. That Casa um, Sagrada. That's well, an actual well, building in Spain. I'm trying to remember the um, benefits. Like it's supposed to be one of the more powerful ones to help clear your your system, 
I think it's supposed to help with. Oh, I think it's supposed to help clear the colon in the lymphatic system and your pancreas. Mm. And I, I swear to God, I made a. The first day that I used, the first time I tried to use it, I I put it in with a bunch of melon melons to make a melon flavored, um, drink. A smoothie. I took a sip. I'm like, I don't want. I don't want the fruits went bad. <laughs> I'm sitting there going, is it the fruit? I don't like. Like I didn't know if I could should drink it because I didn't know if it was the fruit or not. Yeah. So I tossed it, made another one, put a little more of the, the herb in it, and I'm like, I know this stuff wasn't bad. Like no, it's the fire, it's the herb. Like that's I don't I can't I don't think I can drink it. That was the first herb where I'm like, no. <laughs> like I was like I'm scared to drink. I'm like I didn't know. <laughs> I got I I I drank about half of it and I was like I can't do it anymore. <laughs> like it was it was one of those flavor. It was it was that bad. It was like. All right, have a good night, Canadian. Appreciate you stopping in. But it was it was that. Oh my god. And I'm like, I know it's supposed to be good for me. And I could probably use the cleansing of the colon and my pancreas to continue to work on getting rid of this, my diabetes. Mm-hmm. But I'm like, I don't know if I can tolerate it. Like it was the first thing that I've had that, like, I, like I don't get nauseated that easily. I don't get like the gag reflex from eating something. Um, that, but that I'm like, and I I put a pinch of it. In. I didn't even put. I put less than a quarter teaspoon. <laughs> my goodness. Um, it's but, um, yeah. Have I, a great night, uh, there, uh, Canadian. Uh, uh, see you again uh, the next time. Uh, 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 April goes live, but um, sorry to change the subject. Um, I don't think I told you this uh, there, but if I already did, then I'm sorry. It's just uh, I uh, remember you going live like two or three times a week uh, there on average, but minus the October uh, streams there uh, that you did every day, April. But I know you were going live uh, two to three times a week. But uh, I don't know if I already said this. If I did, like I said, sorry. But last Saturday, uh, I literally had my bike stolen. If I, if you already heard it, then I don't need to go into detail. But um, uh, when uh, I was just muted there while you were talking, I actually was uh, like uh, searching up some stuff, not in regards to um, uh, my bike situation last Saturday, but. Uh, just uh, for the convenience of browsing through like uh, uh, current news articles and just stumbling uh, uh, one across uh, Google was uh, 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 pretty much the thing I could have been in if I uh, didn't like run after the thief that tried to take my bike and if the uh, employee of the restaurant then had help uh, there, I would have been devastated and all that, but I was like watching and reading an article where some good Samaritans had purchased a uh, 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 man uh, the, a new bike because his got stolen. And he's pretty much on the same spectrum as me uh, from what I was reading and hearing while I was muted. And uh, I know there are good Samaritans out there, but I'm just thankful of that KFC employee that helped uh, the chase after the thief, even though the thief was never caught. Uh, there were several people that helped uh, uh, try to g- go after the thief, but the thief was too scared of like uh, actually continually running off with my bike. So uh, apparently he left it in uh, some random area that uh, uh, one of the Samaritans, in addition to the KFC employee, was able to retrieve. But if none of that would have happened, I uh, like, would have been like uh, out of luck and all that, I'm pretty sure. Um, that there will be people that be willing to help me out uh, with the new bike purchase, which just would have been a, like a, a, a sad thing to have had to experience. And it would have been the second bike that would have had stolen in like less than two years. Right. 
that's n- nice though to hear that story. Hearing that so you know, people are trying to help the person. Yeah, and uh, at the same time, I uh, thank the uh, KFC employee probably about like five to seven times just because I was so uh, gracious of him uh, pitching and helping to go after the thief uh, there. And um, uh, I just uh, continuously could have been like more appreciative. I even said that he was like uh, the hero of my day and all that. And I even asked uh, the, his uh, uh, other uh, workers, I'm pretty sure one of them that was uh, uh, in back uh, uh, there were probably one of the uh, head uh, people like the managers or something like that there and i asked for them to uh, uh, write to corporate to like let uh, the employee uh know of how much he uh like uh, uh helped me out and that uh it was tremendous of him to like uh the help and chase the thief down and uh, i just wanted uh, to for him to be recognized for his uh great service uh and uh good samaritan attitude that uh, help to uh, retrieve my bike uh, there, and it's those kind of people that are like your heroes, uh, if you know what I mean, April. I heard you. I'm doing All right, um, um, uh, uh, um, Canadian. <laughs> I thought you were gonna go to bed, Canadian. Uh, <laughs> should uh, have a, a, a lock and chain for your bike. I do have one, but it's just the KFC where I was at that uh, I had seen my bike get stolen in front of my eyes. There did have no form of uh, lock uh, uh, or uh, pole to do so. I do have a chain uh, lock that is sturdy and strong, even with the strongest uh, chainsaw and all that. It would, uh, a thief wouldn't be able to cut through it or anything like that. So I have a strong enough chain, but it was just a matter of like not being able to lock it up at the time uh, when I was at that KFC uh, there. And uh, just because of all that, and um, I uh, put it to the side of the uh, window that I was able to see uh, out front there while I was inside, and I sat to the table that was closest uh, straight from the um, window there so I could keep a close eye on it and as I was eating that's when the whole thing unraveled Mm. (laughs) Um, (laughs) but if you uh, like heard that yeah it's just uh, now um, I'm like uh, thinking of ways to uh, like prevent the 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 kind of that stuff of that from happening again, and what I mean by that is the next time a uh, thief tries to steal my bike, I may not be able to retrieve it. As the I had the uh, KFC employee and a few other people help me uh, 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 the do there, um, but um, at the same time it could be worse or that. So I'm actually planning on. Um, getting a uh, GPS tracker to put within my seat of my bike uh, to where the next time that uh, someone uh, steals it and are successful, I'll be able to track it. Do you have an iPhone? I have an uh, Android, a Samsung Galaxy S21 Plus. Does the Android have um, have the, the ear tags like Apple? I believe there's a, a Samsung version of that kind of GPS tracking the device there, um, because I've like been looking the like uh, these last couple of days of uh, different kinds of uh, GPS trackers uh, there that is convenient but also good enough to um, be able to uh, like connect with uh, with no problem. And there's been the different options, one with the uh, subscription with car requirement, uh, which I don't think the uh, Air, Apple AirTags uh, require there. Um, one's uh, with a uh, battery light, but doesn't really say um, that how long the battery lasts and if it's rechargeable or needs to be replaced. 
uh, with a uh, like a really ear battery or that. something like that, because uh, I doubt they would require a triple um, A battery there um, with it being the with the GPS trackers being so tiny and small. So it's like uh, those ear batteries that uh, yeah. more than likely will be uh, for them and there's really no like i said specification of the like the battery lifetime there and then the there are others that um the 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 don't require any type of subscription but only have a limited range but doesn't risk to specify uh, the distance, like, uh, can it go up to 50 miles distance? Can it go up to 25, et cetera? Um, cause I want like one that can expand for maybe up to a hundred or 150 miles just to, to have the long distance in case the thief, uh, tries to go uh, far with it. And I highly doubt a thief be, uh, able to go that far uh, there and at the same time uh i would never know how far he or she would go with it but it's all a matter of getting the proper uh, tracker that we can get the job done all right yeah no, i was curious because i i seen the video of a kid that tracked down his backpack because he had an ear tag on his um, back and uh, just uh, like recently, I saw um, a uh, article of a um, uh, 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 um, a family or, or like a couple uh, track uh, something of theirs um, from a uh, the uh, the thief. I think it was their car, and they uh, the, like said, "Yeah, you messed with the wrong uh, group of people," or something like that. And pretty much, they were able to get uh, the uh, get the have the thief of the car be tracked and get the thief arrested. Which um, I uh, want to be uh, uh, prepared if uh, ever came to that uh, there, because like I said, it may not uh, be uh, I may not be as lucky the next time it gets stolen. It could be a, a thing that is permanent to where I would be able to. Uh, um, um, get it back or anything like that if I don't get the proper tracker, which I plan on doing. But it's just a matter of uh, like getting the right one that will help out. And the next time it gets stolen, I uh, know where to go. Right. True, true. I am doodling. I just don't feel like setting up my phone. <laughs> Dude, I haven't doodled in so long. <laughs> I've been so sick and in and out of the hospital. Ugh, I miss doodling. Well, I guess I can say this one is inspired by you because it's flowers. <laughs> Me and my flowers. Yeah. I did a painting in the hospital the last time I was there and, um, they showed me a picture that the president of the hospital has it in his office. I was like, oh, that's cool. You should say, can you take a, take, um, a little off my hospital bill? <laughs> <laughs> well, now I don't have to pay for anything now that I have mass health. I just got to renew my thingy. I had to send the papers on Monday. Well, that's good. Yep. Cool. Yeah, I can't get my... I've been having a time, hard time getting my um, blood sugar sensor. Is oh, you know they're supposed to go up in price. No, well, my my doctor put in for the pre approval. It got denied for whatever reason. And when I called the insurance, they said, "Oh, well, the doctor needs to uh, connect." be connected with our peer-to-peer -peer pro, uh, program or whatever it was. So I sent that information and now I'm waiting again because otherwise I'm paying $75 a month to get two little sensors. That's crazy. And I mean, they might also reject it because they're probably going to say, oh, well, you can use the finger prick. Yeah, I go, yeah, no, I can't. For two reasons. One, I can't do it. 
like mentally, physically, I sit there for five minutes going, and no. (laughs) Those are. I had it done when I passed out in ICU. That one time I worked, I I had my finger twice. That hurts. If I do, if I, I continue to do it on the same hand or same fingers. Yeah, you lose sensation. Getting, well, no, I also get, you know, li- I get little marks on my fingers, and I'm like, no, I'm not doing it. Either. Well, they'll probably tell you to do the one on your arm. Well, pretty much the same thing. Those thingies hurt. I got a bruise from one of them. They stabbed me when I passed out, and then they stabbed me again when I was in the emergency room. I'm like, can we stop stabbing me with needles? Please? <laughs> just a little bit. Can we just stop for a little while? I had like four of them. Can I heal from there. the first? Can I heal yeah, from exactly. the first? Exactly. Then she couldn't find my vein to get the IV, and I was like, oh my goodness. I'm like, just do the other arm, please. It was just, it was crazy. And my mom's like, can you just do the other arm? And she ended up kicking out the nurse. She's like, get away. I'll do it myself. I was like, ooh. (laughs) My mom was aggravated at them. It was funny. They're like, ma'am, ma'am, we can take care of her. She's like, obviously, you're not doing your job right. She's like, yeah, but I'm a nurse. She's like, yeah, well, I have more experience than you do in your left mm. thinking. Um, and uh, um, over the uh, like uh, last time I was up here uh, there, um, April, uh, what kind of stuff have you drawn? I really haven't done anything since the last um, live stream. Oh. Yeah, no, I've been really unmotivated lately. Um, just... um, do you like uh, not to ask, but do you know why? Because sometimes some like uh, being unmotivated is from something uh, going on, or like maybe uh, there's something more that important that you're doing uh, there that is taking away the time to be able to do that kind of creativity. Yeah, well, if I you know, know. The, last, the last two weeks at work have been a little. Um, more strenuous, but I don't think it's that. And if I'm depressed, I don't really feel like I'm depressed. I just don't want to do it. <laughs> I think sometimes it really is. We just don't want to do things and it's not depression or anxiety or anything. Sometimes I think like we just want, I think we just need to withdraw and, and um, yeah. And kind of like, in it doesn't help that I spend a lot most of my time on social media, like watching. Um, <laughs> yeah, yeah, um, um, yeah. I see what you mean, and it's uh, just uh, there's but been slightly of that that is not job related, but it's just. Um, my uh, uh not to go in like to something but um i uh, uh, uh my dad tried to call me a few days ago there when he said he wasn't ever gonna call me back because of some stuff between me and him and i just like uh didn't like how he was uh uh, uh towards me uh, uh the, the close to the holidays of 2022 there um but uh, I just uh, kind of disconnected him for a while and thought that he would have just like left me alone and all that. But he tried calling me, and at the same time, there he uh, still. Right in the chat. What? No. <laughs> I love you guys, <laughs> but. I look up and I see you saying stop. Po- <laughs> uh, well, you know, you can always paint uh, me any color there, April. <laughs> you know I love you like family. Yeah, apparently, what was that? What was I? The aunt? 
Yeah, yes. you were the aunt. Um, uh, I think Maria was uh, the mom. Uh, um, uh, the uh, other person was the sister. And I believe um, uh, Steph uh, was uh, the uh, niece. Or am I, like, wrong? I have no idea. I, um, but I love the... Uh, uh, and I kind of stopped calling uh, Jacob my dad, even though it's just as a compliment. And uh, he does smile when he hears that. But <laughs> I just uh, love him. Uh, oh, well, I, like, I like when you do it because I know it makes him a little uncomfortable. <laughs> But it's a, no disrespect, uh, uh, any uh, sort of thing. No, it's all, uh, it's all in good fun, and he knows it. Yeah, uh, I seriously love him uh, as family, as all you guys there. And uh, it's just all in good fun at the end of the day. Yeah, next time you go on this thing, you know you're my daddy. <laughs> oh, boy. He, he gets really uncomfortable <laughs> with that. <laughs> it's hilarious. I'm going to laugh if he pops up now. One of the last times I was on this thing, we were talking about, you know, he, was, he mentioned how he missed, you know, the, the whole crew when we used to all get up on the, on the streams. Yeah. In the cuddle couch. <laughs> cuddle couch. The couch is long gone. It was fun while it lasted. Yeah, it was. I'm just going to have to make a new cuddle couch. <laughs> Improved 2.0. All right, just so you guys see what I'm actually focused on. Hold on a second. It's the flowers. Look what I need. Oh, it's a pretty garden. Now the yellows and pinks over here, that was done the last time I went live. Mm -hmm. I, think you were, I think you were in the hospital at that time. Probably. I don't even remember it was the last time that I left the hospital. I think it's been so far two weeks, no hospital visits, which is good. Knocking on wood. <laughs> <laughs> Let's keep it that way. Or should I say being admitted? Because I did go to get my... To see if I had the flu or not. Was it the flu? Yeah, turned out it was. Literally, I got it the day that I was supposed to get my shot. And I was like, seriously? She's like, did you get your flu shot? I'm like, no, I was supposed to get it today. She's like, oh, well, you're going to have to wait two weeks after your over it to get your shot just in case oh my god yeah, great don't test the, those shots anymore <laughs> especially well, i just get it because my oh yeah oh, i get it because my mom still works in the hospital and she brings a lot of those germs home and my immune system's already crap to begin with so better to be safe than sorry yeah mm. yeah i went to my uh when i went to my physical they're like you want the flu shot and i'm like no <laughs> what what you want the c shot no you want the, the you should get some medication for your diabetes no <laughs> you like, know why? she's like why and i'm like i don't know <laughs> i don't want i just don't want it <laughs> um uh, you know, um, there was a one time when um, I was at a uh, appointment uh, for a, a hospital visit, and was more so of like a, a physical kind of thing there. And uh, when I was being questioned, they tried to ask me, "Did I uh, get get the, uh, the jab?" Uh, uh, there and I was like no and uh, they were like do you want to get it? nope I refused to and then I uh, pretty much like uh, the um, 
the was questioned and then they asked well why don't you want to get it and then like i uh, retaliated back and she stepped out because uh, i just don't like being asked numerous times of why like won't get something of that kind of stuff and i just uh, refuse to get something that i don't feel confident in right. or especially take something. you're autistic too a lot of those stuff is not good because i don't know what when he gets his he they have to like give him an alternative because there's a lot of stuff he can't get shots for because yeah. he's autistic and it affects his senses <laughs> Uh, excuse me. <laughs> what? Oh. oh my! It wasn't me. I didn't pass my germs. <laughs> <laughs> I love oh, what you said. You can't blame me. I didn't I'll, do it. I love what you had said there, Steph. Oh my <laughs> God! I love it. <laughs> but yeah, it's just um. Uh, I uh, used to take so many medications on a daily basis uh, when I was a teenager to uh, m throughout my uh, 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 20s until uh, by, uh, up until my late 20s when I just decided like one day I'll just uh, decide to not take them no more without even a, like approval or anything just basically uh, my own decision and uh, just based the for the five years that it's been now since I've like fully stopped taking all the medications combined, I actually feel better off like without them than I did with them because from time to time, the medications gave me some weird feeling inside me mm -hmm. all the time. And I've had to take the like medication three to four times a day, uh, uh, wow. some in the morning, some in the afternoon, some when I uh, uh, was about to eat dinner or not in the evening there, and a couple before I uh, was about to go to bed uh, there. And it was uh, like as though I was taking 20 different medications when it was just maybe five to seven, but some of them took, mul uh, had, I had to take multiple doses a day there uh, just uh, because of like the time pattern and everything. So, uh, like uh, just because of how much I had to take, I like you know what I don't need no one to tell me. So when the January first of two thousand eighteen rolled around, that's when I just completely stopped taking them, uh, no matter what uh, someone was trying to tell me. And uh, from there, uh, people uh, see as though I'm better than myself there. And even I've had my service people in Minnesota. Uh, in April of 2018, once I informed the, them of everything, they were like super concerned and they questioned like, um, like, uh, do you feel a certain way without your medication or something? I was like, no, um, I feel just uh, fine uh, there. So they pretty much uh, like allowed me to continue on making my own choice of whether or not to take my meds in. Let's just say I've had times when I took like some prescriptions by the doctor the that uh, was prescribed to me here in Arizona and I would only take one like capsule and just stop from there because it just didn't give me the confidence of what it, I, I was hoping it would do and all that. Uh, for me, like the more I learn about, you know, what's in medications and like even like metformin for diabetes, diabetics, like that actually does more apparently does more damage to your liver or kidneys than if you were off it. And, you know, what I will say is, granted, it might benefit some people. Like, for some people... Yeah, it works. You know, yep, I... I'm, not, I'm not against everybody using what, what works for them, but, you know, the little I learned along the over the last, like, say, 12 years, you know, since my couple of my relatives died of cancer and, and seeing some of the health issues that, like, my mother's had and, you know, and me getting diagnosed with certain things, I'm going, like, I know I'm not invincible. But I know there's got to be a better way than throwing a pill at everything. 
That's true. And yeah. you know, and when the majority of medication, especially when you see them on TV, and half the half the side effects are what you're taking the medication for. I know that's crazy. I'm like, does that make sense to anybody else? That <laughs> you're taking med- medication for your your heart, but mm-hmm. one of the side effects is you might have a heart attack. <laughs> yeah, what's the point? <laughs> right, and then to find out, you know, that that medication can actually affect other parts of your 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 system. Mm-hmm. Like, there's a woman that I know. She said she had a a heart attack or whatever a while back, and now she can't have any fruit with small seeds like strawberries, blueberries, because mm-hmm. it um she ends up um getting blood in her stool, I think, or something like that from seeds. Maybe? Yeah. From the seeds of like certain, you know, like like I said, strawberries, blueberries. Yeah, um, because that's like one of the many reasons why I've like uh, never really um, uh, like took uh, any uh, prescription medication uh, that was like uh, given to me, even if I wanted to try it as regularly as the bottle would say, it's just because of the scaredness of the side effects and uh, the fact that I had to take as many medications as I did back in uh, yeah. my days there is uh, just because of uh, like one side effect after another. And when that side effect comes, you have to take a medication for that and that medication may have side effects to that, that uh, the uh, is need another one. So it's like an endless cycle, if you know what I mean. Uh, right. There, no, that's so, where, like, granted, like, you know, as much as I'm learning about, like, detoxing your system or, like, specific parts of your body, like the liver, the kidneys, the pancreas, you know, your, your you know, clear, purifying your blood, you know, trying to get the mu- mucus out of different parts of your body, including your brain. Um, I know, like you know, like I was saying to to Stephanie, that like you gotta double check to make sure some of these won't affect you negatively. Either they're natural, but because you are on medications, it might have a, an adverse response. <laughs> you know, and ironically, oh. apparently some of the medications that are out there have some of these herbs, or like uh, um, some portion of these herbs in, in the medication because they know that they work, but they put it with other stuff that will mess you up. <laughs> that's crazy. Yep, that's why I booked my allergy test. I go... The last week of February. To see what I'm allergic to herb wise. Um, but, and see if anything's changed. But uh, but just jokingly there, um I I love you uh, uh there uh Steph and April and I'm happy to be prescribed to you two because you don't give no side effects. <laughs> <laughs> How did I know that was coming? <laughs> Well, I, I, I said, said, you know, it. said I seriously love you all like family. I don't know. I don't have to say that, but just uh, my the love for you guys is uh, more serious than uh, uh, you may realize. It's just uh, uh, and oh my gosh, now my cheeks are blushing because of my love Aww, for you guys as uh, so friends cute. and family. That's how much it is uh, means to me. We got Angel to blush, <laughs> and I'm doing it to myself. Really, he loves you too. Emily, he loves you like a cousin. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just th- thought I'd throw a family title in there. <laughs> he loves hey, you like. No problem. <laughs> he loves you like he loves Taco Bell. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
Uh, I'll be quite honest. In the last six months, I've probably only been to Taco Bell probably uh, four or five times, and that's only like once a month on average. I don't go there as much, and I've been like cutting back uh, as much as I can of restaurants and trying to get more stuff uh, being made at home, like I have made. Uh, yeah, uh, I've been uh, trying from... to do that too because I notice, I notice when I eat cleaner or I eat more from home, I tend to have, be a little more clear-headed, a little more energy. Um, a little more focused. Um, somebody's messing with me. Oh no, that was me. I'm okay. seeing where Maria is. I'm like, yeah. Maria, where are you at? She's probably sleeping. Probably. She'll come on as soon as we're done. <laughs> I missed it. I missed it again. I go, yeah. You missed, you missed Tiffany. You missed. You missed. <laughs> Um, this, but, um, but, um, but going back to my bike, uh, going back to my bike, uh, 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 uh the oh, incident. Apparently, apparently, we've been singing the song wrong. What? It's not the song that never ends. It's the song that doesn't end. Oh. Um, because I always thought it was a song that never ends, but like a lot of yeah, people say that. So are you you're on TikTok, right? Yeah, I'm on TikTok uh, there. So, um I came across the daughter of um Sherry Cheryl, Sherry Lewis, who was the original um puppeteer for Lamb Chops Play Along. Her daughter now does the voices and has the puppets. Um and they, and I shared it with, um, I shared it. I don't know if uh, Maria ever looked at it. <laughs> I laugh because we all know how much she loves that song. It's her favorite song ever. I know. And the, the uh, daughter in Whitland Shop, you know, she's like, you know, people have been singing that song wrong. They keep singing it's ne it never ends and really it the lyric is it doesn't end. I mean never end sounds better, but <laughs> which is why I think I think people unintentionally when they know the lyric should be something else, they just that's what they go with. Mm-hmm. So but but um, but but I um I th will have to like actually like watch the actual thing on uh, uh YouTube and just to make sure there because I think you're uh, you're exactly right. It's like what we thought for years is the song that the never ends, and sometimes it's like the Mandela effect where you think it's one thing and it appears to be the other. And imagine if uh, that was like, uh, uh, or is uh, part of the Mandela effect. A lot of people will say, wait, it, it's the song that doesn't end. I thought it was the song that never ends. And cause there's a lot of like Mandela effects kind of stuff that are being like uh, uh, exposed nowadays. And like I was watching uh, uh, um, uh, uh, FBI uh, Fine Bros uh, Entertainment channel the when it was that uh, at the time before it was just called the React channel as it's properly called now um i was watching a mandela effect video uh from like 2015 or 16 uh there and they were going through various uh, uh signs uh, slogans and logos there of such and a lot of people um like uh were shocked by the term oscar uh meyer uh where it's a m-a-y-e-r and then it's like uh, Oscar Mayer, not Oscar Mayer. And like people like, what? And then there were, of course, other ones. But I think if the there was to ever be another Mandela Effects uh, 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 series video, uh, uh, the song that uh, doesn't end should be a part of it because I'm pretty sure there's many people uh, that still think it's the song that never ends when it's actually the song that doesn't end. 
Yes, yeah. it goes on and on, my friend. Some people started singing, not knowing what it was. But this is what Maria is going to Forever, do. just because. <laughs> but, you know, I was singing to my mom earlier this week, uh, actually Sunday, uh, the their, uh, last Sunday to be exact, because it's a fishy Sunday here in Arizona now. Um, I was singing to her, not the uh, uh, song that uh, doesn't end, but the beginning where it's like, if you're into fun and you love to play, if you love funny jokes that put you away, if you love to dance to Sam and Sound, and you love having lots of friends around, and if you're one of those kids where sad is bad and happy is cool, hey, oh, little buddy, you're about to see, you're at the very best place where that you could be. Hey, it's Lamb Child. Play along where kids come to play along, and fun things are all we ever do. Do 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 do. It's fun, child. Play along. Uh, come and join the kids and play along. We got a lot of good stuff for you. The future looks bright. Thank you. Oh, <laughs> I love it. I could go on uh, there with the entire theme, but it's the, the it's always one from what my mom remembers uh, that I've always requested. I remember watching it uh, as a kid the, when I was like the six or seven, um, watching it on TV, but I don't ever remember like um, when I was the, the three or four years old when uh, I uh, continuously requested the theme song, as my mom says and remembers. I'm trying to find the link for that one video. Where is it? <laughs> oh, that's funny. So you know what's really funny? Yeah. Everybody gets it wrong. What do you mean? Well, they all say never ends, but it's really doesn't end. Why don't you show them how it's done? This is the song that doesn't end. Yes. All right. So, so I don't get copyright claimed. <laughs> she sounds exactly like her mom. The ironic thing is like vo a regular... Without doing the voice, she doesn't sound like her mother. But when she does the character voice, I'm like, yeah. oh my God, it's Lamb Chop. <laughs> like, my childhood. Like, she has a more raspy voice than her mother did. Mm. Yeah. Don't get that song stuck in my head. A song that never ends. It's too catchy. <laughs> Well, well, hello, Mr. Jake from State Farm wearing khakis. Angel, look who it is. It's Dad. It's your daddy. <laughs> oh, boy. I'm sorry. I couldn't help it. I, I, I had to do it. I just had to. Just had to get it out of your system. I did. I, I always have to say it at least once. <laughs> All right, so those of you who are on TikTok and will get a kick out of this, I will put the those link. Those of you who are on TikTok, thanks a lot. I come in and say hello and, and you do me dirty like that. <laughs> So if you if you like the song that never ends, here you go. <laughs> oh boy. When Maria it, comes in, she's gonna be like, seriously, April. Seriously. But it never ends. <laughs> I'm here. What? Mm -hmm. Oh, we did. We, 
Uh, Angel, you got you gotta call him by you gotta call him that name, okay? Uh, okay. Say say hi. You know. Hey, uh, Jake, uh, Ryan. No, Daddy. Say hi, Daddy. <laughs> uh, hey, Dad. <laughs> uh, 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 um, I love you, uh, Jacob. Uh, there, um, you know that. <laughs> But, um, but yeah, and I'll be quite honest, the uh, most awkward uh, the, or my favorite part of the two variations of the Lamb Chops theme song was always the one where um, uh, Sherry Lewis would be like, uh, make a muscle, squeeze it tight, uh, uh, really squeeze with all your might, and um, don't have to say the rest there. But um, uh, I, the, the, I always found the whole bounce your bottom in your chair uh, very weird, but at the same time, um, there um, at that time, I'm pretty sure that kind of stuff was appropriate. But now, if you say bounce your bottom, it's uh, like inappropriate there. Yeah, everything's inappropriate these days. Yeah. Yes. Bounce your bottom in your chair. Bounce it here. Bounce it there. And with tender love and care. Bounce it. Bounce it everywhere. Bounce it back. Bounce it slow. Bounce it high. Bounce it low. Sing while you bounce along. One more chorus of this song. Jacob, would you like to come up if you're still there? He probably ran away. She's like, no, you're calling me by the, the, the scammy <laughs> man. And uh, the, uh, the uh, times when I do remember watching Lamb Chops on uh, the early days of, uh, well, at least for the 90s portion of PBS Kids, I've seen the theme song with the uh, bounce your bottom portion more often than I did uh, of the uh, make a muscle uh, portion of the, the shows with the, the theme songs. And maybe it's because one <laughs> had uh, more reoccurrence than the other uh, there. And uh, at the same time uh, there, I didn't even realize there was the whole make a muscle uh, variation slash version of the theme song until I one day uh, looked on YouTube YouTube and I was like, there was that kind of version, and I was like, wow, and surprised that there was that. But uh, the with the uh, YouTube as uh, what is allowed there, um, the there's more than what meets the eye of what you remember as a kid and all that. Sure. <laughs> no, well, you guys are over there bouncing bottoms in your chairs. <laughs> well, sorry to hear that there, um, uh, Jacob, uh, if you're um, not doing well for, uh, tonight there. We all love you uh, uh, there. The last days of why are there so many doomsday movies coming out? I don't like this. They want you to be scared. I don't want to be scared. Yeah, I just you want a cute movie. <laughs> I mean, I like those movies, but I mean, come on. More than one a year is a little bit too much. He's, he's, he did be confused, Mr. Mr. Jacob Water. The waters of Jacob. The waters of Jacob. Yes. <laughs> well, speaking of the waters of Jacob. Hmm. 
You ever draw something and try very hard not to use black, and then you go, but that's the only thing that's going to work? <laughs> All the time. That's why I go through you know the black often, You know how often I, I'm like, like, even with the flowers, like I'm like, I don't want to use black as, as the outline. I don't want to do it. Can and then I'm looking gray. at it, and I'm going, but it needs it. I'm like, but I don't <laughs> want to use it. That in white. It's like, I don't want to use either one. Yeah. And then, it, like, you hold off forever, and then you're like, fine. And then you do it, and you're like, see, it looks better. Like, hmm. still don't want to use it. <laughs> Emily, you still there? Yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm still here, uh, April. If you can hear me, I can hear you. Yeah, just the uh, the last few times that I've like uh, um, uh, uh, um, uh, uh, got up uh, wasn't me doing it myself. It was more so my phone automatically hopping me up because um, I've uh, uh, been uh, l uh, looking uh, up stuff on YouTube, and I've also been um, uh, uh, checking the stuff on uh, uh, Google there. And so I think whenever I'm like out of the uh, tab where I'm here on StreamYard right now, it like uh, kicks me or knocks me off automatically there uh, with the out the host or myself doing it yeah uh, super bowl but yeah tomorrow's a uh, super bowl yeah tomorrow's super bowl sunday uh, of course uh, there and it's happening well, here in arizona i don't even know who's playing i thought it was supposed to be uh, last sunday uh, no, um, uh, the, uh, apparently, the, if you remember, like maybe it was sometime in January of last month or the, like late of December um, when one of the NFL players had an emergency on the field and they canceled the, the rest of the game uh, with the competing uh, uh, team there and they uh, oh, uh, yeah. uh, like also canceled all the uh, uh, other games, I think, or maybe it was just that game in particular. It pushed the, the, the uh, NFL schedule back a bit and they ultimately just came to a conclusion that there will be no uh, uh, like rematch of any sort uh, there uh, and so they had to um, like uh, uh, go uh, on and that's what I think caused the schedule uh, mishap because I thought it was the, this past Sunday which would have been February uh, 5th uh, there um, and and uh, uh, when I was informed it was going to be the 12th for this year's Super Bowl, um, uh, I think uh, it was all because of the event on the field, as I explained. Yeah. I forgot about that. Is that guy okay? I think so. Um, I think but, uh, I'm sure uh, he's uh, okay. Uh, I kept the, uh, like, uh, 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 um, I kept a like close eye uh, on where he was at um, for probably about a week uh, of the whole event happening, and then um, they say that he uh, is okay, but then still he uh, wasn't good enough to be uh, back on the field. But in terms of where he's at now, well, I hope he gets uh, fully uh, better uh, there. Um, uh, by the start of uh, the 2023 to uh, 2024 season this fall. Yeah. He had a heart attack, right? Or a stroke? Um, some type of co co heart condition that scared many of the players. I believe it was uh, a heart attack. Um, yeah, some type of heart condition uh, there, like a heart attack, like you said, um, there uh, it just uh, uh, there's been many things that people have said, but I don't know if the doctors ever came with a uh, conclusion or diagnosis of any kind. Scary. 
scary, scary. Cardiac arrest. Oh, okay, yeah. cardiac. Okay. So a uh, heart attack pretty much because yeah. I believe cardiac arrest is like a form of heart attack. Yes. Those are never fun. Those hurt like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. yeah. I had a mild one when I was... I don't even remember what year it was. I think I was still oh. with Kirk at the time that that happened. That I passed out in the middle of the street. It was because of my heart. Wow. Yeah, that hurt. I felt like somebody was stabbing me in the chest. I was like, I never want to feel that again. Spider-Man. Because if uh, my memory is correct, uh, their last year's Super Bowl was uh, February uh, 6th there. And if things didn't happen on the field as they did for that player, I think uh, it would have been on the fifth uh, for this year, like I, you and I thought it was their stuff. Um, but of course, like with the whole uh, cardiac arrest that the player uh, uh, had happened to him, the, that's like what I said that caused the uh, scheduling to be uh, for the twelfth uh, of this year for this year's Super Bowl. And the teams are playing uh, this year are the uh, Philadelphia Eagles and the Kansas uh, City uh, Chiefs. Mm-hmm. Yeah, because it's usually the first Sunday of February. Yeah, but like uh, I said, it's uh, more than likely due to the uh, cardiac arrest that caused the, uh, the game to be uh, 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 like it is for the uh, Super Bowl this year. Yeah. Well, it's good that they took a break because I'm sure everyone's yeah. heading in the right place. Yeah, and I will say that the uh, whole uh, thing definitely made it like uh, more uh, like uh, realizable for what can happen on the field of uh, any player's condition and that kind of stuff there. And uh, I think the uh, Roger Goodell, uh, the uh, uh, head and chief of the NFL, uh, uh, of course, is uh, was well aware of it at first and made his uh, statement of everything, but uh, definitely like shines the, the what can happen on the field uh, there. Mm-hmm. Oh. Someone posted a picture of Mark. Mark and Donnie Wahlberg's mother said, we miss you, Alma. Oh, she passed away? She passed away the beginning of 21, I think. Mm. Because, um, yeah, because Donnie did a tribute to her um, when I saw them at Fenway. Mm. He played. She, he played like a little video clip of her and like, um, you know, when he was younger and them just be goofing off or whatever. And stuff. I, apparently, she had Alzheimer's. Oh, that's sad. My grandmother had that too. Apparently, uh, in the last couple of months, their childhood home in Dorchester um, had a fire. Don't they own it? That's what I thought. And the only reason I even knew about it is because a kid that used to work for the security comp- my security company, he was kind of like a road patrol, road supervisor. Um, he became a, a cameraman for um, 
Fox 25. Mm -hmm. And um, he, he was covering, covering the video clips for it. I was like, I wonder I go, if, if they own it, I wouldn't be surprised if they try to rebuild. I mean, it obviously won't be the same, but I could have sworn they owned Mark or Donnie or one of them owned that particular. Yes, they own the family farm or that. I know that the house in Dorchester, I believe, was a triple decker. And I guess they had a different house as well. I don't know exactly where it was. Because when they did the, um, I only watched a few episodes when they did the Wahlbergs, Wahlberger reality show. And they went mm -hmm. to a, what they call the childhood home. I go, that don't look like the childhood home. They show every time in documentaries. Hmm. Apparently, they lived in a yellow triple decker. In Dorchester, and then I, maybe the, the other house was what they bought after they became famous. You know what they got. Probably. I'm so tempted to go to New York right now, but I can't. Yeah. I want to go. I want to see that he's okay. But I can't just leave my mom. No, that's kind of like when my um, my father-in-law passed away. I wanted to I go. I know. You want to go and be there. Give your support. I know culturally, it, you know, they deal with death, you know, differently. Oh. Like, I don't, like, in a... I'm sure, that I, I'm guessing that the family does hey, something private as um, well. April. Yes. Um, going back to you, talk about like the Mark Wahlberg's uh, Wahlberger show. I saw some episodes of uh, uh, there when uh, I think the network A&E had a marathon one time there. And it, it, it seemed interesting, but after that, I just never watched it there. But my, if I have to say my favorite uh, person of that uh, reality series was that, like, um, uh, um, the mom of uh, the Mark Wahlberg and them. Yeah, there. that's what you were talking about. She passed away in oh, wow. 2021. And apparently that's she so had all... And apparently she had Alzheimer's. Because both both Don both Donnie and Mark posted something to Instagram in uh, August of twenty one. I when I went to see New Kids on the Block live, uh, Donnie did a tribute to his mother with one of the New Kids songs. I can't remember the name of it at the moment. I'm trying to remember it. <laughs> Not my favorite girl. Um, and I actually um, was looking at what services uh, offer the show, and it looks like um, Hulu offers it. Uh, the but I don't think it's on their strict uh, streaming service. I think you have to have a Hulu uh, live TV uh, subscription. And uh, but if uh, there's uh, like uh, like um, if you're not wanting to pay for it, the uh, Freevee, which is Amazon's uh, version of uh, their free TV, uh, there there's four seasons of that show on uh, Freevee. Yeah. Everything is free. Almost. <laughs> I wish everything was free. Well, I should say the more important thing should be free. Only the stupid things should cost money. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Mm 
All right. I think I'm going to end it. Appreciate you people's coming All up. All right. Well, you have a great uh, night there, April. It makes it more fun when there's someone to interact with. So. Yeah, it does. Uh, thank you for hanging out. Good night. Uh, hopefully we do it again next week. If I'm up to it, maybe during the week, we shall see. Well, uh, I'll see you the next time you go live, whenever that is there, April. Yeah. Until next time, have a good one. As always, good like night, stuff to you too. Don't forget, love is everything. Bye bye now, and watch Maria show up. I know. <laughs> All right, have a good one. Much love.